Good evening, ant keepers. Here's one of my Nova Messer colonies. They are looking pretty good, as you guys can tell from the lighter colored uh, ants. Those are freshly emerged. And then I've got a little piece of chicken in there right at the bottom of the water tower I gave them earlier today. Some Costco rotisserie chicken. Delicious, and they love it. Anyway, guys, I just got home a few minutes ago, and um, typically the first thing I do when I get home is I come check my ants, probably because they're in a the garage, and that's the first place I, you know, am when I get home. Because once I go inside and start playing with the puppy, not a not a puppy, an older dog, but, you know, I call her my puppy, I'm pretty much stuck inside playing with her for the rest of the night. Yeah, that's a lie, too. I'll come out and look at my ants, but anyway, first thing I do is check them. So, uh, I got home and checked one of my colonies and was thoroughly uh, surprised at what um, I was seeing. So I'm going to go ahead and pause. I just this I guess in media or in the news they call this a B-roll. So I just want to have something for you guys to look at while I was building up uh, the uh, anticipation. I'm really bad at these videos, so my apologies. Be right back. Okay, so there's one of my honeypot colonies, and for those of you that follow me, for one very specific reason, you should be able to see exactly why I'm so excited. This is me excited. Um, right there, just to the right of our queen. Yes, that is exactly, that is what you thought it was. There we have a replete. I think I checked on these ants, if, I, mean, I check on them daily, but yesterday or the day before, but I did not see it replete. So um, here's the early stages. I'm assuming within a day or two, she's going to become very plump. But um, yeah, I was absolutely stoked to uh, come home and see that there is actually a replete back there. Uh, that is a great thing. It's a good looking colony. Um, they're doing well. Hopefully I don't screw that up. But, um, you know, if you look at the, uh, the pupate down there um, at the bottom of the screen, uh, and I do have some other videos where there are some pupate that are dramatically larger than the, the others, and I kind of had a suspicion that they might be future repletes. And um, I don't know when this ant emerged. If, I do believe the ants that eventually become repletes are slightly larger when they emerge, or close is the correct term. Um, just like that one walking around the queen right there, you know, she is actually larger than the rest of the ants. And you kind of look, see, you know, see the back, her, um, uh, gaster, she's noticeably larger. And based on my experience, that, that's what eventually turns into a uh, replete. So, um, I'm just tickled. And the, the, the colony is active. I mean, they've, they really have not been active the last couple of days and boy, are they active now. I'm going to try to scoot this around and get a better picture of that replete. Yeah, she's definitely, she's nice. She's got the nice and hidden so humble. But see that one right there at the back, uh, climbing above the water tower, climbing on the rock? That's definitely going to be a replete. I mean, you can see the difference in size. Now, obviously, the first ants in a colony are naturally smaller. We know that. But that ant is bigger. I mean, you can see it in the gaster. It's incredibly noticeable, so I suspect that she will, um, within a couple days, you know, I keep feeding these guys, that she'll, uh, she'll ultimately swell up as well, and I'm just going to keep feeding them fluid, and hopefully they plump up, uh, and it's, and, uh, other goodies as well. I'll be picking up some crickets tomorrow for him. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to, yeah, look at the size difference. I mean, it's, it's, it's got, it's so apparent. I mean, it's, it's much more different than, you know, your typical Nenic Dick and, you know, the rest of the colony once a colony starts to mature. You know, that is a much bigger ant. And uh, she's just got her mouth open. Either she doesn't like the light or she's saying, feed me, feed me. I must swell up and hang upside down for the rest of my life. And in some of my earlier video, guys, with my very first honeypot colony, uh, there's some videos of these guys hunting. They are incredibly quick. I mean, it almost looks like they're on fast forward. They're not, but they are super, super quick. Um, but, uh, but anyway, as always, thanks for watching. See if there's anything else going on in here I want to share with you. 
course, there's our, our queen. I'm just stoked to actually see a replete. That is so cool. There's a, right there is a, a freshly emerged ant. Let's see if we can sneak around there and get another shot of that replete. I don't want to. That's actually our queen. Where'd she go? She's hiding good, so. Very, very camera shy. Let's zoom out here. So there you go, guys. Go the forage area. I'm gonna, there's a little piece of chicken out there. I'm gonna give them some honey here in a minute, but. There we go. Okay. Thanks for watching. I think that's the third time I need to figure out how to edit the, uh, the voice because the fact that any of you follow me is an absolute mystery, but thank you for doing it.